so many flies. What's going on? There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. They are everywhere. So I wired up the solar panel. Um, I'd done almost all of it at home, just hadn't connected it to the battery. And as you can see, the battery's pretty low. Um, but unlike the VSR, hopefully the solar panel just keeps feeding in power and we can at least get something out of it um, versus nothing from the motor at the moment. Now that the solar panels are set up, as you can see with that little red dot behind me, um, we can get back on the road and we're now on our way to Quagga Blowholes. So it's a bit overcast, which normally is a bad thing when you're on holidays, but we're hoping it means that the blowholes are going. So we're excited to go check that out, get the classic photo in front of the King Waves kill sign. stuff you should see the door to get in they've got like a guard in front and then six locks so I don't want anyone going inside it but the view from up here is very cool um, you can see Lake MacLeod over there not McLeod and the King Waves kill sign and the blowholes just over there so it's a great vantage point to see all around so Today's day three. If you watched yesterday's video, um, you'd know that there, we've had some issues with our batteries. And last night they ran out and our fridge is connected to the batteries. So it stopped working and we woke up to a 13 and a half degree fridge. But we've turned the fridge right down and it's back cycling. So we managed to drop it at one degree in about an hour. But it is dropping. Hopefully our meat is still yeah, good. Yeah, hopefully all the meat's still good. All the dairy's still good. Otherwise, yeah, it might be six days of tomato soup. We've only got one can. We'll make it last. <laughs> After our kangaroo and her joey greeted us into town, we decided to go for a little swim in the bay. It is refreshing, isn't it? Are you ready? We're going to leap backwards. Three. Oh no. Ready? Are you actually doing that? Are you going to do it with me? Yeah. Promise? Yeah, promise. Three, two, one. Looking for a fish. It didn't take long before I found a giant spangled emperor. There are heaps in the shallows. I also found a wild jess. We saw some fishies, they were big, they were like this big, which was cool. Don't you dare. Dun -dun -dun. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, so our fridge isn't coping too well. Um, and we've tried it in a couple of different ports and stuff. It's still not getting too far below 12. 
so yeah, why not turn the fridge into an esky? We're still going to leave it running, of course, doing what it can, but... Yeah, but this might just help it get down to 4 degrees or so, like you like. The fridge is finally going down as we turn onto the coast access full drive route. Awesome. Look at that go. Tires are at 26 all around, hubs are locked, we're in four wheel drive, we're on the sand, this is the adventure. The next couple of nights we're going to be making our way from Coral Bay to Exmouth, our final destination. Um, but right up the coast. The normal road to Exmouth just takes you straight up the middle of the Cape. Um, it's all bitumen, pretty major road. This way is all along the beach and the dunes and everything. We should see some fantastic things. I've been wanting to do this for a really, really long time. Well, as we're driving through this awesome sandy track, well, there was a jackaroo back there smashed in. Anyway, as we're driving, I think either the rear or front shock is just crunching and making this awful noise. But you know what? We've blown shocks before. We know how to deal with that. We'll be fine. Might as well just relax, enjoy the drive, and enjoy the scenery. Oh my god. The corrugations put the windshield wipers on. I didn't even touch them, they just flicked on. That is busy. It was actually a very big camp and there was still lots of room available. So we decided to drive up the dunes and check out the beach before setting up. We thought we'd get a nice quick time lapse of that, but that was before the awning pole got stuck and we had to get a screwdriver to get it out and before we had to use pliers to get the next pole in, and before we decided to move the table four times. Anyway, that's a pretty typical camp setup for us. Oh, I swallowed a fly. So we made it to camp on day three. Um, we're finally up on the coast, right near Exmouth, right near Coral Bay. It's pretty beautiful. Anyway, so tomorrow's plan is to continue driving up the coast and follow this track and cross Yardie Creek and find our campsite directly on the other side of Yardie Creek. Actually, is, which side is 1K on? This side. Is it on this side? I think so. Actually? Alright, so 1K is just south of Yardie Creek. Oh, interesting. So we're yeah. not getting new batteries tomorrow. Well, we'll see. So tomorrow's plan, we finish this tri drive up the coast to 1K. We suss out the Yardie Creek crossing. If it's nice and easy, um, we'll either duck into Exmouth and check out the batteries or we'll stay at 1K and just relax, maybe go do some snorkeling. And if the Yardie Creek crossing is impassable, then the day after tomorrow, we'll come back through Ningaloo Station and go up the main road to Exmouth. Before buying a new battery setup with Xmouth prices, I decided to try and fix this one. This battery is a dud. I charged it for 48 hours at home. It got to like 13, six volts. I've chucked it in the car and it's just sucking power from everything it touches. So rather than re rewiring everything that's wired to this and our battery in the back, I've just bypassed the middle battery and stuck accessories and powder the back onto terminals here and here which is not not all that safe not all that good practice um, but sometimes necessary and luckily I had terminal covers for this battery so I'll smother this in electrical tape and it'll have to last for the trip but hopefully we've done it hopefully we can charge laptops cameras get the vlogs out and the pressure's off the fridge is gonna run I figured while I had the bonnet open I checked the oil as well Trust the poor, right? <laughs> so sus. Uh, 
That's good. Oh no. What? Just got oil on the fan belt. End of days. Give me a rag quick. Since we were taking the awning down anyway, and since it's so windy tonight, we're a bit worried about the tent crushing us to death. Um, we've taken this pole, one of the awning legs, out of the awning. I'm gonna use this as our support pole. <laughs> this looks longer than the mop to me, so it should do it. There we go. Awning pole in. Well Yay. done, Jess. Good idea. We're safe. We're safe. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe.